Good morning, day, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time you're watching this. My name is Guilherme Ribeiro, and this is my 2K presentation on universal language understanding and whether it is dependent on intuition or not. Now, I must say that after a lot of logical reasoning from my part, a universal language is based on the human ability of intuition. But why do I make a risky claim such as this one? Let's start from the basics. Back in 2010, I went camping in Mexico. But after flying for a very long time, I remembered that I didn't know how to speak the local language. How was I going to communicate then with my fellow campers? Now, our solution was to use hand gestures and signs to strike a conversation. Now, I found, I found it extremely impressive that we were able to become friends without speaking a common language, and that by simply using gestures, we were able to understand what each other meant. Now, this real-life situation was, is very important to me because several friends that I made during this camping trip are still very good friends of mine today. But how did all of this happen? Well, first of all, we must define language. Language can be defined as a method of human communication, either spoken or written, consisting of the use of words in a structured and conventional way. Therefore, it is also possible to conclude that a universal language is a language that is understood by all. So how can people understand each other without knowing a common language? There must first be the distinction that language is composed of a written and non-written component. And since written language and non-written language are not the same, they must be considered separately. Since a written language is heavily based on a single language or region of the world, then it might be said that a written language is, most of the time, not possible to be universal. So let's focus only on non-written language for the sake of this presentation. Now, according to several medical sites, this is a universal sign for choking. This sign, however, is universal not because a group of super doctors came up with this sign, no. This sign exists because, as an instinct, humans automatically put their hands in this fashion around their necks when they're choking. Another example is when you're waiting in the lunch line at school. As a normal kid that you probably were, you couldn't wait to eat your daily school-made salad. Let's also say that one day you decided that you didn't want to talk to the lunch lady, for example, and that in order to ask for a salad, you simply point at that delicious bowl of plants. Now the lunch lady rationalizes that if you're pointing at the salad, you must obviously want her to put salad on your plate. But why is all of this important? Well, I believe that a universal language aids in survival and evolution of species. So let's join history and biology together and analyze how can universal communication provide an evolutionary advantage to a species. Now, back in the old days, cavemen lived happily together, but they obviously had to communicate between themselves in any sort of manner. Now you might say that they could point at something and hope that the other cavemen understood what they meant, but what if they needed to urgently communicate something? Now imagine that our two prehistoric friends here, for example, are about to be attacked by a fierce dinosaur. If caveman number one points at the dinosaur, caveman number two might, at first, be confused about what his friend means, and this would probably give enough time for the dinosaur to eat our beloved caveman number two. Now, if our little characters here had a fast, universal sign for danger, then there is a much higher chance that caveman number two might save himself from the claws of the horrid beast. Now, all of this makes us think, 
is communication between organisms independent of empiricism? In quick terms, yes. After all, the cavemen in the example would have had to experience danger before they came up with the sign for it, right? Not really. But going back to the choking example, having the instinct of showing that you're choking only provides a higher chance of survival. Since someone that sees you choking might actually understand the sign and they will try to help you by unchoking you or something of the sort. Therefore, when information has to be informed, it is independent of empiricism. But you might say that it's slightly dependent on instinct, possibly. Now, consider a man that has never seen a stapler in his life, and consequently, he doesn't know what it is, what it is used for, or any other information regarding this strange object. If I wanted to use the stapler, but let's say I'm too far to reach for it, I may ask him to pass me the object. However, there's a slight problem. We do not share a common language. Now, I would therefore probably point to the stapler, and then I will point to myself, and the man would logically reason that I must want the stapler, and he would hopefully pass it to me. But you might be thinking, rationalizing is so tired, it takes such a long time relative to the time of conversation. Well, in my opinion, universal languages and signs rely on intuition. Now, intuition can be defined as the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. It is important to note that the word immediately will be extremely important further in this argument. So, to what extent does intuition play a part in the development of a universal language? I conclude that a universal language is based on the human ability of intuition. Going back to the stapler example, when I point at the stapler, the man logically reasons and understands that if I point at the stapler, I must want it for myself. Actually, when I point at the stapler, he immediately reasons that he should pass me the object. Therefore, the man immediately understands the gesture, and even though there is logic involved, the fact that he reasons immediately makes his conclusion an effect of intuition. In this case, immediately means unperceptively fast. Now, this proves that universal languages do in fact completely depend on intuition and they wouldn't be useful otherwise, since logical reason would eliminate the advantage of communication being instantly comprehended. This was my TOK presentation, thanks for watching.